Hello there, this is SpaceR5. Welcome back to our modded, fact modded Factorial Let's Play series, um, where we're going to go ahead and try and figure out uh, farming, um, which will help hopefully reduce pollution if we can get that going. Um, we do need sand for our farm. Go ahead and hit the Alt key so we can see what everything is producing. Um, just the quality of life, having the Fiat, which you can also toggle for right here. And which one makes sand? This one does. We have any landfill so we can make a little bit of a area to uh, place the farms. There we go. Just see for what's going on. Place the farm pretty close. Grab an inserter. Oh, you gotta go two way. Uh, I think. What what is our seed? Pomodian seed. It's one of the. There it is. It's like, it's one of these. Oh, we need saline water. We need a hydro refining plant. One of these guys. Which we need some stone bricks. So we can go ahead and get those online. Oh, and a clarifier. We're going to need those as well. Which we just need iron. Um, to get rid of some of that extra water that we're going to produce. gonna make purified water and uh, saline water which we're gonna use saline water here which is kind of funny because you don't normally want to put salt with your crops uh, otherwise it'll kill them but apparently these crops like it extra salty and it looks like we need to increase gear production or just iron production overall because it's rather slow let's go ahead and slap down a light here so we can see Put the seeds in here, and grab some more landfill if we have it around. Didn't sit the hydro refining plant up here. I already had one in my inventory. It's pretty much been the story. It does not look like we can get to fit here nicely. Yeah, we'll just put it over here. Mix purified water. Let's go ahead and pick another technology. Military 2, sounds pretty good. Let's get to gray science. Um, gun turrets 2, technically do that. We're not quite advanced enough for that though. This radar's 2, not super interested in that. That's a useless tech, we'll probably never research. Uh, we're kind of fine on, we're, uh, we're okay on our repair packs. They're, they function as is, so I'm not that worried about it. Let's see, sulfur processing. Useful, but pretty much done with this tech tree, except for to get the explosives. Um, so we can actually go ahead and tear that up, I guess, just so we can start on explosives. I'm not doing anything with gas extraction right now. I would like to increase my mining speed, but not that big of a deal. Go ahead and get explosives. We are almost there to robots, though, which is fairly exciting. Um, just so that way I can automate some of this stuff. And we don't have gray or blue science yet, so we're kind of limited to this little tree, our tech tree area. Just fine. Need an offshore pump and some stone tubing or pipes. Yeah, we can just make a bunch. Where'd the offshore pump go? It's in here somewhere. There it is. That's the saline water on this side. Go ahead and rotate this farm so we don't have to travel as far. There we go. And the clarifier here, which does draw quite a bit of power, so I don't know how well that's going to work. Um, since we're probably pretty close to maxing out our power as is. Oh, oh, we're actually okay. I thought we were closer than that. Let's 
farm with desert upgrade. What is a desert upgrade? I don't know, do we just throw sand in enough sand in it? Call it good. Then look at our production real quick. Pollution? Our farm is taking out one pollution per minute. Or what pollution per M, whatever M is. And we are producing a whole lot more than one. So we're gonna need a lot of these farms, it looks like. Can I make seeds out of these? The Pendamorlean recipe? Yep, it's done in a seed extractor, so we're gonna need to bring that up. So, it looks like we're gonna end up having a... Where is the seed? There it is. A full line of just, like, farms just trying to reduce our pollution output because we can all go ahead and automate this and we should be able to make other resources we make nuts leaves pips what is all this stuff oh but we can make plastic from it fuel oil acetone gas so we can actually go like completely organic and all natural be interesting let me get the seed extractor down And this will just run forever, essentially, until we get more farms and stuff. And then we'll work on that some more. But that's the starting of farming. I haven't, first time I've ever looked at it, so. What does cellulose do? I think this brown algae, um, later on, will make other, will make, like, acid or something. So that's interesting. Fertilizer. Yeah, I don't know what any of that does. <laughs> <laughs> We'll figure it out as it goes, as we go. Let's go ahead and make some assembly machines. Uh, those are always good to have. Let's see. I think it's time that we expand our walls, to be honest, because we're a little, little tight in here. I would like to extend down and out like this. Um, so we might go ahead and just build the wall across here, down, and like that. But we didn't. Oh, there is a little bit of sapphire down there. Forgot we did find that. I wish we had found more, so we might do a little expedition out by ourselves. Just throw our inventory in the box. Throw more of our inventory. Turns out we need another box. Gonna cancel all these recipes. And all, all the stone. We're going to be bringing the stone with us, crafting it while we're out. So if you uh, control click in the middle of the chest, it'll pull it right, right out of your inventory. Go ahead and make stone. We're going to go do a little scouting mission. So we, we may die. Well, I don't even have any ammo on me, so yeah, we'll probably most definitely die. Let's go ahead and grab some ammo. <laughs> I was going to be a little silly, just get attacked and just have to run away, flailing my arms, screaming. Go ahead and just take a little bit. Let's see, where do we want to scout today? I'll probably go down in this section over here, because this looks like it's all water. Um, we can get across right here, but... Oh, if we finish scouting out the north, we can kill the three bases and then just wall off, like, straight. And we have all this area to build, but the bus is going down, not up. Let's pick up these guys. Um, I have found that, or have discovered, alien artifacts create immense amounts of lag if uh, you let them stack up. So, I like to try and make that into a habit of picking them up early. Since... Um, in the, uh, multiplayer campaign that I'm doing, um, not on YouTube, it has become quite an issue. Uh, just normal tree. Looks like some turrets are fighting. 
That's fine. Apparently they know that I'm out and about though. Looking on the mini map, not seeing anything of any significance. Um Looks like this is very densely forested though. And we can't see very much. This is about all I can see too, so <laughs> just hope hoping for day soon. Oh wow, this is this is a really dense forest. I'm actually getting stuck in places. Let's see, that looks like it's an alien base up over there. Um with Yeah, to the south there, there's an alien base, and we're going over to this green... Oh, it's another puffer nest. We'll go ahead and pick it up. It's useful for something. Something farming related, but I don't know what that is. We're stuck on some trees again. Uh, this is where it's healthy, helpful, just to have grenades. Um, just so we don't get stuck on as much stuff. Wow, this map is really forested. Alright, well, it explains why uh, the biters aren't really expanding very much, is they can't get there. <laughs> um, go ahead and swing on out into this little uh, clearer section. Um, it is starting to come day. Um, we are going towards the biters, um, which they're just big worms, it looks like. Nothing too special. Um, go ahead and look at the map. Did not find any. Yeah, you can just tell how densely populated this is. We probably just gonna go out and around by this chromium and continue checking south. Keep continuously get stuck on trees. Yeah, so that's a couple. Is this medium worms? Yeah, medium, medium, small worms. They're not. No big deal. Random patch of discolored. Oh, here's infinite staff right, right here. That's very close to the base. I, has that, apparently I've just been missing it. Just blended in the map or something. A little, yeah, I don't remember seeing any of this. Was this inside the fog? I ran by here, though. I don't know. A little confused, but... So we do have a source of iron. Um, it is infinite, so... We don't technically have to go far, um, but its yield percentage is going to go down over time. Is that job right? Yeah. So, it's slowly going to become less effective over time, um, so I'd like to find a bigger area that will ho hopefully sustain that is a biter nest. Go ahead and give that a little skirt, because that's probably enough where it will kill me. Uh, got another gaseous puffer nest over here. And there is a fissure for, uh, oh, that's another biter nest. The fissure is used for uh, thermal water, um, which is used pretty late game. And you can also get it from farming, apparently, because I have taken a little look at it, but not much. Just skirting around the uh, enemy base. The dark gray tree, interesting. Looks like there's some more thermal water down here, no noted by the uh, the orange. Um, man, this is really dense. Oh, that's a biter nest, and they're they're ready to shoot at me. Uh, I'm surprised I can walk through this so dense. You guys not shoot? Oh, yep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're just standing up and they're not doing anything. Then yeah. check out the map a little bit. We're just going to cir circle around. I'm assuming this is only a lake and not like an ocean. It's a big piece of, uh, is this rubrite? Yeah. It's pretty much used primarily to get lead. Um, at least that's what its basic process is. What is this? Crystal rock. Still don't know what's up with these crystal rocks. I wonder if they have a chance of dropping? Well, no, it just says the expected is 20 stone. Don't know what the purpose of those are. 
this? A temperate tree. So we got a desert tree uh, a little while ago. Um, that's what we're farming right now. Oh no, we're not even farming the trees, so they're just sitting around doing nothing in a box. Huh. Is this, is this what I've been looking for? I think we found our future mine. Uh, this is the closest patch so far of any meeting. So right here in the inf middle, it's infinite. On the outside, it's not. Um, but the yield percentage will go down in the infinite, like I said earlier, which will cause issues. What is this? Desert. Oh, this is the desert tree, so it's just like a palm tree. Okay. Go ahead and collect that, I guess. What's this? Cut. Puffer nest? What is it? Oh! That's it. I'm going to risk it for the desert garden. Because um, it can give us a chance for more seeds. Oh no. They're not happy. No, guys, I'm, I'm not attacking your base. I'm just here for the net. For the, uh, the garden. It's okay, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving now. Yeah, we're going to have to clear them out soon. They're a little aggressive and we're on our way home. Some more chromium. It's a good source of ammonium, too, for in the future, because we are going to run out in our home base. Um, we're going to have to import. This looks like we are not going to get back home before dark. I was hoping so. And we've got some gas wells over here. With those little green pips on the map and on the map. It's nice how it glows up like that, but I wish it illuminated more of the region because our flashlight is not very good. Bobmonium. Looks very nice. Pretty. And we're almost home. You can see the lights in the distance. Knock down a wall. Put that down. Let's go pick up our inventory. It's around here. There it is. There we go. Then we can put the throw the desert garden, I think, in the sea extractor, and that's what gives us the, the random chance of other things. If I remember correctly. Nope, this is the wrong thing. That farm does sound funny, or maybe that's a seed extractor. Sounds like a cauldron bubbling. Filled up with copper. Yeah. We need copper running so that we can produce more iron. Why'd you stop? You still have 6k underneath you. You can get corn. Oh, this is, no, that's a composter. How do we get the seeds out? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and grab some of the stuff that we're farming. I don't even remember what it's called. It's so weird. But we can make corn. We have 107 of it. Yep, oh, we're slowly going south. Now what do we do with this corn? Beans, corn, we can make nutrient pulp and nutrient extractor. It's a press. 
is the nutrient extractor. Desert tree seed generator. Just need a couple of bricks for that. I wonder if that's going to be like the uh, the greenhouses. Uh, where they just produce wood. Go ahead and pull through this box that time. Compost, we already have that. And then I'm curious about the algae farm is. Thick soil and water or sand and saline for desert tree seeds. Okay. Oh, there's the bioprocessor. We need more steel. Still not sure how these things work. Sure, praise stack extractor. Wow, my tongue got twisted there. <clears throat> farm. Just takes water for green algae and seedling for brown. But yeah, those turrets are fine for a while. Go ahead and throw down the algae farm over here to see what that's about. Like some underground stone pipe. There we go. Clear up our inventory a little bit too. Same time. There we go. Don't know what the importance of algae is, but it's going to use for some process. Uh, let's see. We give you corn. You just give nutrient pulp. Right. We're gonna go ahead and do this somewhere down here so we have more space to see what's going on. And take the corn. Ah, you need power. We make soil from compost. Compost and mud. Okay. Uh, I need a storage tank. Yeah, I'll just get a big one. There we go. Now, what do we do with nutrient pulp? Nutrient pulp makes gases, fuel. Glycerin gas. Nutrient pulp makes fruit. Hips, nuts, leaves. Oh no, that's coming. Wait. Is, yeah, that's coming from it. Okay. Fermented. We make alcohol on this. Compost make acetic acid. Interesting. Ethanol, um, which is just alcohol. And then we can make ethylene and sulfuric waste with, oh, that's not from the uh, nutrient pulp. We can just make them right here from the nutrient pulp. So this is how we're probably going to do our plastic, is actually from the nutrient pulp and farming. This is weird. Uh, where is, should be a way to farm trees from here. It's the press. I don't think I made one. Yep, didn't make a press. Let's go ahead and get some uh, some lamps. And remember, they're called lamps, not uh, not uh, lights. Why I don't know, but that's what they are. You get raw vegetable oil from beans, pips, whatever pips are, and nuts. Okay, so we know how we're going to do plastic. Um, we're just going to do farming. Um, what do we make with green algae? The 
cellulose fiber. Use cellulose fiber to make wood pellets. Okay, what, what do we use the wood pellets for? I guess we don't have it unlocked yet, so. Okay, well, that's a start at least. Looks like we're still full up on copper. Which means it should probably be time that... Well, we're going to extend the wall first, actually. Dump the inventory. Dump it again. Set the walls. And there's another chest somewhere. There it is. Still have not made any turrets. And craft some more walls. And then we're gonna go ahead and extend it. Looks like grab some more turrets from. I might have to handcraft them actually, because I thought we had extra turrets. Did I use them all? Yeah, we just need to increase our iron production. Need two inserters. Go ahead and just store copper for now. I need power bolts. There we go. Naturally, you guys are set up incorrectly. There we go. Power a little low. It's a little low. It could definitely be better. And we're looking for turrets. There's two. Oh, they attacked this corner. Apparently I led them back home. Go ahead and get one of these going again on ammo. Um, granted, we're already running out of iron down here, but hopefully copper will just be the, the uh, copper will no longer be the holdup, is what I was trying to say there. Go ahead and extend this wall down, let's say 50, 100, probably 100, go to the 50. Oh, that's right, I'm crafting more, that's why I kept going up. So we are going to run into the forest. This is where I wish I either had robots or grenades. down a couple walls. Call that good for now, I guess. And that one tree's in the way. So with rampant AI, they'll they'll actually attack the uh, the trees um, if they think that they can get a path to you um, through it. Oh, wow, we actually did a pretty good job. Wow. <laughs> oh, one short. Go ahead and give me some ammo. So we'll just give you all that. Dirt of the big rock. So at the moment, we're a little exposed. So. I'm only going to take half of these turrets in case they try and sweep from uh, multiple sides. There we go. Take half of your ammo, I'll give it to you. Go 
because right now I'm kind of hoping that the forest will kind of be a natural barrier to, for the south. Um, so we don't technically need to put turrets there, hopefully. Um, since I don't technically have that right now. Let's go ahead and actually handcraft a bunch of gears. Um, so that we can just throw it in all the turrets when that time comes. I'll go ahead and pick up the rest of this wall so we can extend our bus down. Because eventually what we're going to have to do is we're going to keep the main bus pretty much where it is, but we're going to extend resource production over to here um, and basically just feed in from the outsides and just continue down. Um, granted, we're going to have to destroy an entire forest getting there. So our green initiative is gonna have to put on hold for uh, while we're doing that. It is nighttime, so I, I am honestly expecting to get attacked. Um, since the AI does prefer to attack at night, I can't actually see where, there's the little green circle. Very hard for me to see too. Go ahead and just give you some ammo. We'll uh, deal with that in the morning because we can see. But that's all the time I have for today. So if you enjoyed enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.